Robert Esther here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store with a Schaefer & Sons piano. What is Schaefer & Sons? Schaefer & Sons at one time was the one of the most popular pianos, particularly in California. It was the store brand of a huge chain of stores, Colton Piano, and they sourced pianos from Schimmel and from Samick, and this one, as well as most of them, were Young Chang made pianos at a time when the Korean pianos just came into blossom. They were good pianos, and I am going to challenge this piano today. No holes barred. I'm going to play a couple of short selections. Actually, I'm going to play a complete piece to start off with to show you how this piano, built in 1986, is five foot three inch baby grand. I'm going to play the complete Claire de Lune. Now, why is that such an unusual choice? Well, the kind of infinitesimal expression that you want to get out of a piece of Debussy like this uh, you, you need an action that's really well regulated. So let's see if, if it's possible to achieve the kind of tonal colors, the shadings, and the pianissimo, and different levels of pianissimo. How softly can you play and still project a musical line? We shall see in this Debussy for you, Claire de Lune.
So it is possible to get quite a bit of expression out of this piano. I'm going to show you now the other range, the other side of it, which is what happens when you really put some serious energy into this. So I'm just going to play a little small excerpt of the, the middle of Litz Sonata in B minor. It goes to the lowest A on the piano and it's crashing fortississimo. So you'll hear the whole other range of the piano in this excerpt of Liszt Sonata. piano like this, I sometimes refer to as failed piano lesson syndrome. What do I mean by that? Well, here's a piano built in 1986, and if you told me this was a five-year-old piano, I'd believe you, uh, unless I looked at the serial number, because there is virtually nowhere on this piano, and everything was kept in beautiful condition, a furniture piano, essentially. Now we find new life and somebody who really wants to play, which is why we prepped it to this high level to get this kind of response out of a well-made Korean piano. I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, I'm Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com. See you next time.